Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for April 30th, 2018. For the final day of the month, we will still be under the influence of an upper level low that was affecting the region yesterday, and that's what brought us the cooler temperatures with that northwesterly flow around this low pressure. The area low pressure itself, the surface low, is sitting right up here today. So it is a little bit, is a little bit further east than what we were dealing with yesterday. It was over eastern New York yesterday, so it has moved eastward a little bit. Uh, and it will continue to move eastward today and get out of the region. So we will have the opportunity for those stratocumulus clouds because of the very cold air aloft. Uh, that will allow the uh, temperatures to uh, remain in check today. Now, I don't think it's going to be as chilly as we saw yesterday, probably about uh, you know, 8, 10 degrees warmer, actually, than it was yesterday in many places. Uh, but we're going to have the clouds and the strata cumulus that as a result of the uh, cold air aloft uh, that is going to be affecting mainly the eastern and northeastern regions today until this system moves away. Here's a better look at that upper level low. Here's a look at where it is today. It's sitting over eastern New England. If we look, go back just uh, 12 hours ago, it was sitting over eastern New York, and, and that's why we had those clouds uh, dominate the forecast yesterday. But uh, it is moving further east and will continue uh, to move east today, and uh, that will be out of the region completely by uh, later today and then we will start to see some clearing from southwest and northeast as a result so no precipitation we're not talking about that but we are talking about clouds uh, that are going to erode from southwest and northeast as that system pulls away and uh, then we're start, going to start seeing moderating temperatures because we have this high pressure off the southeastern U.S. coastline. It's going to be taking over for the next couple of days, and we're going to get a surge, a surge of warmth, and a big surge of warmth. So uh, by the time we get to Tuesday, we are well into the 70s, nearing 80 degrees in some locations. Uh, southwesterly flow around this high pressure, which is sitting right down here, is going to, going to park itself there with that big ridge uh, forming over the eastern United States. That uh, high pressure is going to be control over weather straight through the end of the week, and that is going to be uh, that is going to influence our temperatures as well. So we're going to be well into the 70s on Tuesday, uh, nearing 80 in some spots, and by the time we get to Wednesday, very similar, uh, but we already start off a little warmer overnight. So we're going to be in into the 80s across the entire region on uh, on Wednesday and then well into the 80s by the time we get to Thursday. Now, there will be an opportunity for with a warm front off to our north. There's a warm front that's situated uh, off to the north here, but there could be close enough to areas north of that line could get into some precipitation, maybe a quick shower, and that would be mainly across the northern area. So I don't think you get quite as warm as the rest of us across the far northern tier on Thursday, but areas that are south of that line are going to get well into the 80s and maybe approaching 90 degrees in some areas right around here. Okay, these areas right in here in the urban corridor will get close to the 90 degree mark here on Thursday. So a very warm day on Thursday. And again, it looks like on Friday it's going to be like that too. At least for southeastern areas, we do have a cold front that's off to our northwest. Here is the air low pressure driving it. Uh, cold front situated back here like this, obviously. And ahead of it, you'll have an opportunity for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. But uh, areas south and east, you can see it doesn't even really get here. This is by the evening. And these areas especially will be flirting with 90 degrees once again, at least upper 80s, uh, but flirting with 90s here again on Friday is going to depend on this front and how quickly this precipitation gets in here. And there could be actually be some stronger thunderstorms with this, uh, that uh, the areas that do get into the action, and then that front will move through uh, overnight. But you can see, if it doesn't get there by dark, it really kind of falls apart overnight. You really don't get too much in the way of rain. So we're not dealing with much rain this week at all. And then once we get into Saturday... We're back to mostly sunny skies on the opposite side of the front, though. And this front will be off to the south. You can see it right here. We are in this sector right here. And uh, that means we're going to have mostly sunny skies on Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in uh, the in the 70s on, on Saturday. And then once we get to Sunday, we're expecting temperatures to lower a little bit, but maybe upper 60s to low 70s for high. So it's still not going to be too bad. This is going to be normal for this time of year. Uh, so we are going to have uh, temperatures drop behind the front, but back to near normal for what they're expected to be in early May, which this will be at this time. This is now looking at Sunday, which is, of course, May 6th, and temperatures are now starting it into this uh, near the 70-degree mark on either side of 70. So that's where we're going to be, and a very nice weekend coming up, it looks like, with mostly sunny skies. I'm Easter PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for April 30th, 2018. Have a great Monday.